budget. What's up money geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video guys. So in today's video, we are going to continue our series on how to make $250 a day blueprint. So we started the series, we talked about um, which account types you should open. Uh, initially, we even talked about the platform that you need to choosing the right platform. So if you didn't watch that video on choosing the right platform, I'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go check that one out. And then we follow up that one by opening the accounts that you want to use for trading, which account type should you open? So we talked about it, the two different account types, the margin account and the cash account. So I told you guys which one works best for you based on your situation. So if you didn't watch that video, again, I'm gonna hook that one up here so you can definitely go check it out. In today's video, my focus is gonna be on your budget because this is one of the common questions that I get uh, from a lot of you guys out there. How much liquidity do you need to have to make $250 a day? So that's that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to investing in the market, guys, there is no limit or minimum as to how much you can put in the market. With the, I mean, with the coming of uh, fractional shares in the market. It's made it a lot easier for people that even have a very low budget. When I say low, I'm talking about $50, $100 to people that have $25,000 in the margin account um, and leveraging margin. So the, the playing field, in my personal opinion, has been leveled so that at least based on your budget, you can definitely still invest in the market. It's the same thing like if you drive a very old, let's say a 2000 uh, Honda Accord, that's what you can afford. You still have a car. Or somebody that drives a 2021 Honda Accord, they can afford that, they have the money to do it, but you guys both have a car and you can go to your various destinations. So to me, that's the analogy that I want you to put at the back of your head. So stop comparing yourself and thinking like, oh, I need thousands of dollars to invest in the market. That's not the case. So let's talk about your budget. So again, like I said, if you have anything from $100, $50 and up, you can still invest in the market. Can you trade? Absolutely, you can still trade and slowly build your account. So for you to get started, guys, I don't even want you to start with a huge amount of money. I want you to start small because when you use that small amount of money and learn, which means that you minimize the amount of uh, losses that you can get. So if you start with, let's say $500, and then you can slowly increase your, your amount of liquidity that you have in your account once you understand what you're doing and you're comfortable going big. From some days, I'll only trade with like $2,000 because that's what the market gave me. Some days, even with $1,500. So you have to understand that this is not like, uh, I'm gonna go all in. Yeah, you can do that and come out big, but if you go all in and it goes, the trade goes against you, you're gonna be in trouble. So uh, just answer the question here, how much money do you need? There is no finite amount that you need. There's no minimum. So you can start with as low as $100 or you can start with a high, uh, whatever you have. But the most important thing is for you to get started. And I even tell people like, don't even start really jumping into trading uh, with actual cash you can leverage the power of uh, using a simulated training. So you go in there and use simulators, which you would use fake money. So think about it. If you have a thousand dollars to trade, then you can go and use what you call paper trading. That's the other name for simulate for simulated training. So you do paper trading, you put your budget at a thousand dollars and then start using that buy and sell and see how good you do. Use your indicators, use all your entry uh, criteria, use your exit criteria, just like you would do with, with a real trade. Definitely, you are in charge here. There's not a fixed amount. I know I'm repeating this over and over again, but guys, get started. That's the most important thing. You have paper trading that can give you an idea of what the market is. Set your indicators and use that to kind of simulate what it would be like trading. I know some of the simulators don't really act exactly like what you would trade, but don't get too confident because some people go in the simulators or paper trading and just like randomly buy and sell and then they make money. They think like, oh, I, I think I'm good. That's not the case because uh, when you actually have real money on the line, the way you are gonna approach is gonna be different. You're gonna be sweating, nerves are gonna come in 
um, you're going to make a ton of mistakes. Not because you don't know what you're doing, but just because it happens to everybody. You panic. Um, even in competition, you see uh, elite athletes will still make mistakes because of pressure. So there's no difference for, uh, uh, from that in the market. Once you put real money on the line, the pressure changes. It's not uh, if you lose 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 or 100 bucks with paper trading, it's not, it doesn't make anything. It doesn't hurt you in any shape or form. But if you lose it with real money, you are going to be sweating. So I definitely want you to have that at the back of your mind. So the budget is not how much money you have is not a very important. In my opinion, it's important because it's going to impact how much you make. But you don't have to start making 250 a day. You can start making 10 a day, 15, 20, 30 and slowly build your way up to the point where you start making 250 a day. So I want you to have that at the back of your mind. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys uh, a trade here that I did uh, just yesterday. As you can see here on this chart, um, this particular stock, um, BYSI, opened up. There was some news about it. Um, I, I don't remember what the news was, but there was some news about this stock. So you can see this was a $10 stock at close um, on the 3rd. And then on the fourth, this thing opened up and started gapping. So it goes from $10 all the way to uh, $46, almost $47. So I saw this pre-market. And if you can see on my graph here, these gray areas right here, that means pre-market. Uh, and then the other gray area, here, that's after hours. This dark shade, the dark area here, that is actual uh, market hours. So this thing popped all the way up. So I'm looking at things like it has, you know, tremendous amount of volume coming in. So what I did is I got in here at about $28, uh, somewhere here, pre-market. And it, this thing just skyrocketed all the way to 40, I think I got about $42 and some change. So I got here, but it went all the way to 46. So I sat there, even though I was mad, but because I got out early, it means that with the amount of shares that I bought, which it wasn't a lot, I only bought like 60 shares. Um, in this particular case, I got out early because I didn't want the situation where in pre-market, if you don't have a ton of volume at that point to get out, you can see the same bounce and then pull right back uh, without you getting out in time. So I got out when it was still ripping up. So I got out at 40, I think you yeah, have 42 and some change. And then um, that was it for me. I already, I, I almost tripled my daily goal and so I was done trading for that day. So, and it cost me about, I think like $1,600 to go in this trade and I made uh, close to $800 in the trade. So this is something that you definitely can see that there's opportunities there. And likewise, if you were somebody that was chasing and you got up here, let's say you got up at 45, thinking this thing is gonna go all the way to 50, it turns around and pull back, the same principle would apply. The same amount of profit that I would have made, I would have lost that same amount. But again, in this case, I put in fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars to make seven or eight hundred dollars. So you definitely have to look at plays like this and know exactly when to get out because that's one of the things. And I know I'm going to cover this in a separate video. So I want you to understand when to get out of a trade. You don't have to sit in a trade um, until because you're hoping now it's going to turn around. I hope it's not a strategy. It's just something that's going to get you in trouble. So I just want to bring this example so you guys can actually see. So guys, again, just a quick recap here. How much money do you need to get started with day trading, guys? It depends on your situation, what you're comfortable losing. So that's what I would say. You should start with that. So if you want to start with 100 bucks, start with 100 bucks. If you're making $2 and you make $2, that's about it. You have to understand that. And don't be greedy. Don't think that, oh, I only want to make, I want to make $100 today. No, there's days that the market is going to take some from you and there's days that the market is going to give to you. The only question is, how comfortable are you to say, okay, the market beat me today, I'm gonna get out and regroup, as opposed to thinking that the market beat me, I'm gonna revenge trade, I'm gonna get back right in and get beat again. So you have to be smart. So discipline yourself, make sure that you follow your strategy, make sure that you always know how much money you have in your account and how much you're willing to lose for that day. So if my total account is $500, I'm not putting all 500 on the line. No, what that simply means is I'm gonna lose money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna risk maybe 200 out of my 500 for the day. So that way, if things go south, I still have majority of my account to trade with. So never ever put everything in your account on the line. That would be uh, something that I want you to really have at the back of your mind. So there you go, guys. 
let me know again in the comment section if this uh, does help. If it doesn't, I'm going to try to do another video to break it down because this is a very common question that a lot of you guys have been asking me. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, I recommend Weibo because uh, they have a paper trading where you can actually learn and, and just kind of put your skills and your strategy to test before you move into using real money. I'll put the links in the description below. When you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks at no cost to you. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.